Hey, what's up you beautiful people? Today we'll be setting up an SSH server on a Windows device. I'll be walking through both the UI and PowerShell scripting methods for this. On your server, which doesn't have to be Windows Server OS, as OpenSSH can run on a regular version of Windows, like Home, Pro, or Enterprise. Go to the Apps and Features, click Optional Features, Add Feature, search for OpenSSH Server, and install it. Then you'll need to start the SSH server, and you should set the service to automatic, so it runs when the PC boots, or there is a power outage, and you've thought far enough ahead to set the BIOS of the server to boot on power. Open up the services app, search for open SSH server, right click, start, right click, properties. Set to automatic. The firewall rule to allow connections to the SSH server via port 22 should be assigned just by installing the open SSH server. But it's good to check. Here's where. Windows Defender Firewall, Advanced Settings, or just go straight to the Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security by searching for wf.msc. Much easier that way. I didn't even know the shorthand for that app until making this video. Now, let's check that we can actually get in via SSH. Open command prompt on a different computer on the same network and type SSH, your username, at the computer name and hit enter. You'll be greeted by this message. Type yes and hit enter. Then type your password. Dope! You're in! You did it! Good job! Just to drive the point home that we're actually on the remote computer via SSH, let's create a folder on the desktop. Change directory to the desktop. Make a directory. Bam, there you go. You made a folder on your desktop from a different computer, remotely, with SSH. And just so you're convinced that this is on another computer, I'm gonna change the view. See, my VM here and my terminal here. And that's it, you're done. Now let's go through the same steps using PowerShell. Run this command, which puts the name of the OpenSSH server application into the variable OpenSSH. Then run this command, which installs the OpenSSH server. Followed by this command to start the SSH service. Then this command to set that service to run automatically. And finally, this command to verify that the firewall rule is present and if not, it will create that rule for you. You can also do this if there's an issue with the firewall rule when you set it up with the graphical user interface. And that's it. Now you have remote access via SSH to this server. If you like it, like it. Comment with questions and concerns, subscribe and share. You can listen to the background music at the Civil Devil Productions channel linked below. And if you're a creator and want it in your content, you can buy it at the BeatStars page also linked below.